Hello writers and welcome to the end of the first week of Preptober in October 2022. How have you been getting on? Personally I've struggled. I have wanted to write. I managed to get nothing done in the first three days of Preptober. I had great intentions. However I was juggling with the idea of wanting to write on an existing work in progress, a, a thriller story, or planning and preparing for NaNoWriMo. And in the end, what happened is I had three really good days of writing, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday today, and I'm 5,000 words up on where I was at the beginning of the week. More importantly, though, I think I've developed three days of planning in that beginning of the week where I was wanting to understand how do I take my project forward across this first month of October, the actual preparation month? Two things have been really helpful for me this week. The first one is using the template material from Racon, W-R-A-C-O-N dot com, that I mentioned in my video at the beginning of the writing week for Saturday. That's been helpful because it's given me templates, story structure ideas, and character development arcs that I can work with and those have been useful throughout the week in developing a story for November and for the writing there within NaNoWriMo. Something else I'm looking to tackle this month in preparation for next month is working on two new non-fiction books and the idea is that those would be low content, probably 15 to 25,000 word books dealing with specific questions that people want answers to and I believe that I can write two of those in NaNoWriMo alongside my existing work in progress which is a detective fiction story. That's a big ask from my own diary and my timetabling but looking at my new mustard planner that I bought last week I've managed 12 hours of actual time committed to Preptober so far this first week of the month and of those 12, five have been writing and the other seven have been prepping story and also the ideas for the non-fiction, probably equal, probably six or seven hours in each of those areas. So the, so the rack on templates have been immensely useful. You can go to their website and download those and work with those to help you through the month and to take you into a place where you feel your story development for November is very much on track as you move through October. The second thing that's really helped me is joining a writing group every morning. So Wednesday, Thursday and today, Friday the 7th, I joined Tish Bouvier in her Write With Me group on YouTube. Look for Tish, I'll put her details in the description. Look for Tish via the details I put in the description and probably here on screen as well. But that process is an hour every morning. For me, it is 11 o'clock in the UK. It's five o'clock in her Central Standard Time in the States. But each morning between five and eight of us have joined together, greeted each other online, and then Tish has guided us into a 10 minute warm up and then a 20 minute writing sprint and then a little bit of chat then another 20 minute writing sprint and then another seven or eight minutes of writing ourselves down from the sprints that we've been doing and that process has been immensely helpful but the process has been great and just being with other writers professional non-professional doesn't matter just engaging with other writers for that hour in the morning has been tremendous and then what i've done is i've written each day of those three days later in the day. During the writing sprints with Tisha's writing group, I've been using my iPad and a wireless keyboard, and that's been tremendously productive for me. But find what works for you. The other thing I'd recommend is that you read during the week and that you read next week. At the moment, I'm still working my way through Charles Bukowski in his tremendous book on writing. Ironically, his title is the same as another title we know by somebody else. But this one, I think, is very real and very practical. It talks about his struggle as a writer. Not that we should struggle, because I don't think that's necessary, but he had enough demons to deal with. And this is basically a diary of his writing career year by year. And it's very fascinating. 
find something that will allow you to switch off. I've also been watching one TV episode every day, which has been a relaxation process for me after my morning writing exercises with Tish Bouvier and her group. Find what works for you because there is another three weeks of this in October and then we hit the ground with a game plan and a sense of direction for what we're going to write about during the course of NaNoWriMo. I hope you've had a great week. If you haven't, you can do some catching up tomorrow and the beginning of the second week of Preptober for October 2022. Wherever you are, however you're writing, have a great week as we enter week two of Preptober. Happy writing.